Hey guys, Paul Zacopoulos. It's been another long while since I did a five minutes to save you 50 where I take five minutes of your time and I save you 50 minutes a year minimum. And if you aggregate all of these episodes together, you should be saving a lot of time by now or I make you look way more professional. You know, people have asked me, how did you write 19 books in 19 years? And my answer to them is, I'm way more efficient than the average person. And I'm not just talking, oh, let's go highlight. And you know, I watch people go edit, copy, edit, paste. Oh my gosh, that, that's painful. I'm not just talking shortcut keys. I'm even talking about features and functions that you discover that change your life. I should move away from the Office 365 productivity suite, but there's so many more things to teach you. But I'm becoming an expert in Slack in the last couple of months. And I will tell you, there's people that use Slack and then there's people that use Slack as an office productivity tool. And maybe I'll start focusing on that. So today I wanted to get a look where I got a nice even kind of uh, image that would come across and, and uh, look like this. And so what do people normally do? I'm just gonna take an image here and I'm gonna put this into my uh, document. So they copy and paste it, and this is all about wrap text, so I'm assuming you know this, but you can go and sit any of these. Do you go behind the text, in front of the text? Typically, people will use a tight, and it'll look like that, and it'll start to justify it, and then so I'll just move it uh, over here. I'll just correct my little spelling error here while I'm at it. And, or they kinda, and would leave like that. I, I actually don't like that. I don't like how it flows below. So then, if I move it to where I want it, and then I right click, there are some other uh, wrap text options, or maybe it's a new one, I've never noticed it before, but it's called edit wrap text boundary or edit wrap boundary. And this is what makes me different and more efficient. So now if I wanted the boundary to look like this, you can just grab these points. Now, when you go and uh, edit a custom shape, you actually can create these points and manipulate them, but you can't do that when you're wrapping text, but that's okay. And I'm just gonna drop this down here. And, oh, see, I don't like that faster. I'll just drop that a little further. And we're good. And so now when I move that down, and if, you know, you saw how a little text came up there, if you needed to do uh, some more manipulation, just go back and do it. So that's really cool, right? And uh, this is the version of Word I'm on. So I'm on the Fast Adopters program. I am on a Mac. It's of Office 365. My gut tells me that this feature was introduced a long time ago and I just stumbled upon it today by accident, but I felt I owed it to you folks uh, to go and tell you how to save 50 minutes with just five minutes of your time.